ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ This is the fifth lecture where we are going to learn the fifth row of gurmukhi letters So far we have covered 20 letters 21st letter is tata how to write this letter the first step it is simple if you look at it closely you will just see that it is nothing but a 3 this will be our tata let's have a line here also yeah if you look at it closely you will see that we have covered this letter not exactly but some similar letter like this when we were talking about dadda it was in the last lecture the 18th letter of gurmukhi was dadda we will have something like this and then this this was dadda if you remove this part it will become tatta there are many letters in gurmukhi which are so similar and it makes them very hard to remember because the pronunciations will be different the sounds will be different and their usages will be different this was tatta this was dadda second step similar letters we have discussed this thing so we are not going to count apart from the 18th letter of gurmukhi we have a similar letter like this which will be the 35th letter of gurmukhi we will cover this up the third step is pronunciation how to pronounce this letter we have to use two different words here the first one is turkey and the second one is tajikistan from turkey we will get the sound of t so it will be t from tajikistan we will get ta so it will be t ta from turkey we will get the sound of t and from tajikistan we will get the sound ta so it will be t ta there is one difference here in the fourth lecture we discussed tanga it was the 16th letter of gurmukhi tanga the sound of this will be turkey or turkey because here i said the sound will be t not t why is that there are many words in english which will be pronounced differently in punjabi and other languages in punjabi we do not say this turkey with the sound that we have here we say it turki the sound that we are going to get from this letter but while discussing the 16th letter of gurmukhi we said that this will be the example for this why because many people especially those who are not punjabi they will pronounce this letter as turkey that is why we gave this example in the last lecture here we will not be pronouncing this as turkey but turkey i will say it again we will not be pronouncing this word here turkey but turkey from the sound 
these two sounds are somewhat similar if I am learning it the first time. This is the, this is the. If you are pronouncing this word as turkey, then this will be the sound of, this will be the sound that you will be using here. If you are pronouncing this word as Turkey, then this letter will be used to write this word. 21st letter is Tata. 16th letter will be Tanka. I will repeat again. 21st letter of Gurmukhi will be Tata. And 16th letter will be Tanka. So if it is a little confusing here, you can also write it in this way. Um, it will sound some, it will sound different, I guess. This is an Indian company, Tata. But it can also be pronounced if we are going to learn Gurmukhi as Tata. You can add one more letter here. So it will be Tata. This will be the pronunciation of this letter. Fourth step is sound of the letter. Sound of the letter will be how we have it in Tajikistan. Sorry, it is Tajikistan, right? Yeah. So this is what happens. So in in Punjabi, we say Tajikistan. We do not say Tajikistan, but as many people are not Punjabis who are learning Gurmukhi, we will try to have the pronunciation as many people have. This Tajikistan, we will get that the sound from this word and it will be the sound of our, this letter. The, if no symbol is attached, it will be the, if we attach a symbol, it will change the sound of the letter. So it is the, here the sound is the, here the sound is the. Fifth step is examples. We can have the example of this country. Taiwan, again, it is how you will pronounce it. If you are saying Taiwan, that T sound, if you are having in this word, then it will be starting from this letter. If you say it Taiwan, then this letter will come. It is a little confusing and all these similar letters and similar sounding letters we will discuss in a separate lecture. For the time being, just remember the sounds and the pronunciations of the letters. The 21st letter of Gurmukhi is Tata. 16th letter is Tanka. 21st letter of Gurmukhi will give you the sound of T. 16th letter of Gurmukhi will give you the sound of T. Apart from Taiwan, we can have another example. This is a city in Punjab and that is Taran, oops, Taran, Taran. It is near Amritsar, Taran, Taran. This will be starting from this letter. Even though if we are going to remember it using TA, then it will be wrong because different people will be using different pronunciation. Here, you will not be saying ta taran taran. No, that ta sound will not be here. This ta sound will come in the pronunciation of this word. Taran and then again taran. This is how you will pronounce this word and this is how it is going to sound.
The sixth step is wrong sounding words. We can have this word definitely. If you are pronouncing this as turkey, then this word will come in the sixth step of this letter. If you are pronouncing it as turkey, then this word will come in the fifth step of this letter. It is all about the pronunciation. Don't get confused. If you are pronouncing it differently, then writing the word will be totally different. Another example we can have, which is Thailand. We do not say Thailand, which will be the sound of this letter. And we do not say Thailand. This is at least what I heard. We are not saying it Thailand or Thailand. We say Thailand. That third sound we are going to get in the next letter of Gurmukhi. Seventh step is how to write it correctly. This is a correct way of writing how we wrote it. So a line first and then it will be this. This was the 21st letter of Gurumukhi. I will explain again the difference between these two letters because it is a little confusing. 21st letter was the 16th letter was the. If you look at English, most of the times, not every time, but most of the times, the words which are starting from T will be starting from either this letter or this letter. They can start from other letters too, which we will be discussing later. But as we have discussed these two letters, so that is why I am bringing this topic here. Just remember, you cannot change these two letters as you wish. If a letter is starting from the and there is another letter and another letter, you cannot just simply replace it with tanga. No. This is a different letter. This is a different letter. If we are talking about English and the pronunciations of one word different among different countries, then they can use any letter as they wish. But when it comes to Punjabi, if we say Turkey, which you will write it in this way, we will discuss about, um, let me circle this. We will discuss this thing and this thing later. If I am saying in Punjabi Turkey, I cannot replace it with this. No, this is wrong. So you have to know which letter to use especially if you are talking to a Punjabi or you are writing in Punjabi. If you are an English speaker, you will be saying this uh, country as Turkey. But you will not find this word uh, written in this way in any of the books or magazines or newspapers because this is how we write it and this is how we pronounce this word this is tanka with tank the the way that we discuss this is tata and it will be from you can say taiwan that the sound you will get from taiwan and any other word you can have. This sound will be T. This sound will be T. Just remember this. If you 
have any confusion, please let me know in the comment section below. We can have, we will definitely have more videos on these confusing words. But so far, if you have understood, it is well and good. But if you do not, please let me know. 22nd letter of Gurmukhi is Thatha. First step, how to write this letter? You might have remembered the seventh letter of Gurmukhi, which was Khakha. There, we did not have any line here. But if you add a line, it will become the 22nd letter of Gurmukhi. Thatha. Second step. Similar letters. Of course, the similar letter was the seventh letter of Gurmukhi. Apart from that, we have another letter, 26th letter. So let's discuss these three letters, how they are linked, how to pronounce them, and how to remember them. The first one is Kaka. This was the seventh letter. 22nd letter was Thatha. We will learn the 26th letter of Gurmukhi in the next lecture, which is Papa. So you can see they all are similar. The only difference is the lines that they have. Let me write it here. All of these letters are the 26th letter of Gurmukhi Papa. If I add a line here, it will become Kakha. We do not need to have that big line. Okay, yeah. If I add a line here, it will become Kakha. And if I add another line above, it will become Tatha. If I do not have any line inside or above, it will be Papa. How to pronounce that letter and everything we will discuss in the next lecture. For the time being, let's just focus on the 22nd letter of Kurmukhi. Tatha, third step. How to pronounce this letter? We have this country that we have been discussing for a long time now. Thailand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sound. Th and then I will get this sound. Thailand. Th sound I will get. So it will become th, th. I will repeat again. From Thailand, first I will get the th sound here. Then th sound is there in Thailand. That th sound will come here. It will become th, th. This is how you will pronounce this letter. Th, th. Fourth step is the sound of the letter. If no symbol is attached, it is going to sound like this sound that we have here. Th, that's it. You do not need to add a sound like we have here in this um, word you can say. You do not need that. Only a T and an H. Th, that's it. Fifth step is the examples. We can have the example of this. Th, 
thermos that the sound you will going to get from this letter thermos and then this example we have been avoiding this word for so long now this is where it will be used and that is our thailand yeah this letter sorry this word will not be starting from the it will not be starting from the but it will be starting from the let's pick this there is one more issue with this and that is i said if no symbol is attached then this will give me sorry this will give me the sound of th if we talk about this word it is not thailand it is thailand that r sound i am not getting from this letter so what do i need to do i think you know that we have to attach a symbol here so that that i do not want to do but just to let you guys know if we are going to write thailand the word will be starting from this letter we have to attach some other letters also and symbols that is a different issue we will discuss this thing when we go in detail about symbols and other letters sixth step do we have any example where we will be having t h a and it will not be starting from this letter and the answer is yes and that is this word then then will not be starting from 22nd letter of gurmukhi the other example that we had was thermos that thermos t h e even that will not work in many cases the one case that i can give you is t h e n then both these words will not be starting from this letter of gurmukhi they are completely different never ever never never and ever try to remember the letters on the basis of how we write the words in english there might be few cases in which this thing will work but this is a very bad way of learning a new language the sound when you have the sound of th use this letter if you are having the sound of the like we have in then and then then you will not use this letter easy to remember remember the sounds and you have mastered this language seventh step is how to write it correctly it will be something like this first the line and then this then will be there you can say this is how you will write this letter this was the 22nd letter of gurmukhi thatha 23rd letter of gurmukhi is dadda first step how to write it you might have remembered this letter the 19th letter of gurmukhi tadda remember this we discussed this in the fourth lecture fourth lecture if you remove this part this thing it will become this letter so it will be this this will be dadda let me write it again line first one and then this thing dadda second step are we going to learn any other letter if we know this letter we already learned this tadda 
that that is i think the only one letter that we will learn actually we have learned it so these two letters are somewhat similar if i write it here if i just pen it like this it will become a da if i do not have this thing it will be dada they both look the same the only difference is that uh, zero or whatever we have here this is dada third step pronunciation we have this word we discussed in the last lecture also dharma what i am going to do is i am going to get the sound of the here and then i will have this word this word has two pronunciations actually this is what i heard the first one is d and the second one is da we will go with the second one da the pronunciation of this letter will be da da easy right the fourth step is sound of the letter sound of the letter will be the high how we have here this sound will go here the will be the sound of this letter there is, there is one thing that i want you guys to know and that is in punjabi we do not say it as dharma our way of saying this word is completely different that we will discuss in the next letter it is not dharma like we say it english and hindi fifth step do we have any examples um i can give you the example of this this word actually yeah. dharma again i am doing it on the basis of how many people sound this word they say dharma that dharma sound we are going to get from this letter but in punjabi it is wrong just remember this thing it is very important that many words if you are a hindi speaker your way of saying and how punjabi say it will be completely different i can give you another example and it will be not in english but punjabi and we will learn how to add two different letters and how they sound i can give you this word this letter we have the and this another letter this is the fourth letter that we learn and there we said its sound will be s s this is a word in punjabi let me write it again here t and then s it means ten how to pronounce it i will tell you if you remember the sounds it will be so easy to remember how to pronounce the words its sound is d its sound is s the s the s the s the s s the s thus so if you say it quickly it will be thus means then easy right let me say it again the sound of this letter is d and the sound of this letter is s if you add both the sounds it will give you a word which will be thus thus and that is our 10 in punjabi we say thus sixth step is 
wrong sounding words. Do we have any, anything? Uh, I could not find anything here. If you guys have any example, please let me know in the comment section below. Seventh step is how to write it correctly. This is the correct way of writing it. Just remember again, like this is what we discussed while talking about this letter, this space will be filled and it is true for this letter also. So this thing will be filled. This is how you're going to see on books and on newspapers. So let's just fill this. It will be something like this. Oops, this is bad. Let's like this and then just fill this thing. This was the 23rd letter of Gurmukhi, Dadda. 24th letter of Gurmukhi is Dadda. First step is how to write it. We have already discussed this thing. Oops, I think we missed this letter while discussing the 22nd letter of Gurmukhi. We remember the seventh letter of Gurmukhi, Kakha, with a line. And then we have 22nd letter, Tatha, with a line above. Then we have the 24th letter of Gurmukhi, Tadda, with just a line. And then at last, we have a letter without any line. We covered all the possibilities. So here we can have a line one or we cannot have a line zero. Even here we can have a line one and we cannot have a line zero. If you know permutation and combination, you will get four different ways of having a line and not having a line. And we have covered all the four and all these four letters are the letters of Gurmukhi. This is Kakha, this is Tatha, this is Tadda, this is Papa. We will discuss this in the next lecture. It is easy, right? See how unique the letters are. Just a line and you will get a totally different letter. This is why it is important to know if you need to have a line here or not. If you do not have, you will make it a completely different letter. Remove this line and it will become this letter. If you remove this line here, it will become this letter. If you remove this line and have this line only, it will become this letter. So these are all linked and a little bit confusing too. If you are learning and seeing all these letters, the first time. This is how you will write the letter. Let me write it again. This thing and then this line. Simple. This is what we call Tadda. Are we going to learn any other letter if we know this letter? Actually, we have learned all the letters. <laughs> So these four, and there is one more letter. It will be same like we have here. The seventh letter of Gurmukhi. The only difference will be, it will be having a dot here. So these, these five letters are almost similar. Their pronunciations and their usages are different. Third step is pronunciation. Now come the word that I wanted to discuss. Remember this word? While talking about 23rd letter of Kurmukhi, we said it is not dharma because it sounds odd in Punjabi. We do not say dharma, we say dharma. That 
that sound should come with the force. Earlier the sound was the, now the sound is the. With force you have to make this sound, the. This will be the, not the. In Punjabi, in English it will definitely be dharma and in Hindi also but in Punjabi we say dharma, ta. Ta, ta sound should come. Otherwise, it will be wrong if you are saying dharma. Nobody will understand, especially those people who do not know Hindi. If you are talking to a Punjabi and he does not know Hindi, he will not understand dharma. It is dharma, ta sound. That ta sound will be, you will get from this letter. After having that ta sound, you will have another sound that is same T H E da ta da ta da. I will say again, this word we are not going to pronounce as dharma. For this example, it will be tarma. And this is a unique letter in Gurmukhi. You will not find this letter be used by someone who speaks English or Hindi. No, these letters are unique, like we have discussed in earlier lectures also. So we were talking this, we will not be saying dharma, we will be saying tarma, that ta sound should come from here. Oops, uh, A should not be there. Yeah. That T sound should come from Tarma and then D. Sorry, Da. They are very confusing because I use both the pronunciations. T, Da. T, Da. This is how you will pronounce this letter. The fourth step is the sound of the letter. The sound of the letter will be DH. Do, do not think of DH like I said. Uh, I mean, the sound will be T. T. Making sense, right? From Tarma, we will get the sound of T and it will be the sound of this letter. Fifth step is Examples. Examples can definitely be Dharma. And if you have to write it in Punjabi, you will write it in this. We have discussed this letter, not this letter, not this letter. So just do not focus on these two letters, just to show you how we will write it. This letter will come at the beginning of the word, tarma or taram. We even that a sound that we have here, we will not be having in Punjabi. We will be saying only taram, not tarma or dharma, just taram. Sixth step, do we have any words uh, which will be starting from DHA, but they will not be coming up under this, but they will be coming up under this step. I do not have any examples, but if you guys have, please let me know in the comment section below. Seventh step is how to write this letter correctly. There should be a little bend so it will be something like this. That small bend should be there. That's it. This is the only difference. This was the 24th letter of Gurmukhi. Tadda. 25th and last letter of this row is Nanna. First step, how to write it? You might have remembered the 17th letter of Kurmukhi, which was Tatha. This is similar, just remove this thing. 
and you will have this letter. Easy, right? If we want to write it from the beginning, then we will just have a line one and you can have, you can say a C. We have a C like this. Just rotate it to 90 degree clockwise. It will become something like this. And then have it here. Or if you want another way of writing, have a line one, then a big O and delete this. Whichever way you feel is easy, you can use. Usually people write it in this way, one, sorry, line one, and then this, and then this. Nanna. This is the 25th letter of Gurmukhi. Second step. Do we have any similar letters? No, we do not have any. Third step. Oops. Let me tell you one more thing. Here we have this letter something like this. Line one and then this. Instead of line here, if I change it to a triangle, it will become another letter of Gurmukhi. We cannot have this in the second step because this is not how this letter is made. But this is just to tell you guys, if you have a triangle here, it will be a completely different letter. With a line, it will be different. We are we still need to discuss this letter, so don't worry about it. Just remember that with a single line, it will be 25th letter, and with a triangle, it will be a completely different letter. The third step will be pronunciation. We can have it in this way. Um, we have this word, none, right? And then we can have another um, word, which is none. This is, um, you can say, Indian bread. Actually, this is what is written in the English dictionary. We say naan. What we are going to do is, we will get this sound, the whole sound of this word, nan, and then this sound, na. We will not say naan. We will just say na. So it will be nan, na. This is how you will pronounce this letter. The fourth step is sound of the letter. The sound of the letter will be na. If I have to pronounce the word na, uh, let me write it here. The last letter sound we will get from na. What we say is na. That no sound that we have at last, that will be the sound of this letter. No. If no symbol is attached, then the sound of this letter will be no. That's it. The fifth step is examples. I do not have any example in English. Because whatever the words that I know of, they cannot be written by using only this letter. We have to attach some symbols and everything. Um, if you want to have the example, I can give you this. Nepal. But we have to attach this symbol to get ne sound. Where we will be having only this letter with no symbols attached, I could not find. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section below. Apart from that, I want you guys to have or learn some words in Punjabi by attaching the letters. We have this letter now. The sound of the letter will be no. 
and then we have the sixth letter that we discussed it was k na k na k na k if you say it quickly it will be nak there is one small thing that i want to add here i'm sorry but it will not sound correctly if we do not attach that symbol that will be adak and many of you will be saying hey dude you know you did not attach this symbol here then why are you saying we need to attach it <laughs> right <laughs> so this is this is what it is there are some symbols that you do not need to attach but they will be there first we have na then this symbol and then k this we sound nak remember na sound remember k sound this symbol is to have this letter pronounced heavily you can say if i do not have this symbol it will be nak 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 but if i attach that symbol it will become nak we are going to heavy you can say the sound of this letter nak nak means nose we have another word na sound we will have then we will have adak to have the sound of this letter heavier than usual we will have another letter th the 17th letter of gurumukhi na th na th na th we will having this letter it will become not not means run or you can say go just to let you guys know this word is not very popular if you live in punjab you will know its meaning but if you are born outside of punjab and you are learning punjabi or you have learned punjabi from your parents most of the times this word will not be used because this is what we say theet punjabi words which are only people who live in punjab they use apart from that not many people will use these theet punjabi words we can have another example na we will have this word sorry we will have this letter and then we we'll learn this letter today from the second letter of gurumukhi th we will say na th by having this symbol here it will be nath nath and it means um no a ring you can say we can have another example na we will have symbol here adak this is adak we will learn this thing in the lectures of symbols we will have the 11th letter of gurumukhi we said there its sound will be ch its sound is n its sound is ch this we will use to have this letter it will be nach 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 and nach means dance so these are four examples we can have another example na we should have a line sorry and then we have this letter actually we did not discuss this so i was not thinking of giving this example but let's have it this is na and this letter will give you the sound of r 
So nar. Nar means man. Sometimes it is said to be a human being, you can say. We will not be having this symbol here. Just remember this because this will be wrong. You cannot attach any symbol anywhere just to have a good sound because it will completely change the meaning or most of the times it will not make any sense. It will be just N and dr without any symbol. It means man slash human being. These four examples you can remember. Nak means nose. Nut means go. Nut means nose ring. Nutch means dance. Nose, nose ring, run and dance. These are the examples. The sixth step is wrong sounding words. I do not have any example for that. Again, please let me know if you guys have any. Seventh step is how to write this letter correctly. First, we will have a line, fun, then this. This is how you will write it correctly. Uh, ben should not be there, actually. Yeah, this is how you will write it. These were the five letters from the fifth row of Gurmukhi letters. Let's go through all the letters that we discussed today. 21st letter is Tata. 22nd letter is Tata. 23rd letter is Tata Tata Dada. 24th letter is Tada. 25th letter is Nana. Tata, tata, dada, tada, nana. The last step, remember the lines. If you need to understand Punjabi letters, you must know where to add a line, where not to. All the letters from 21st to 25th, we will be having a line at the top of the letter. This was all about today's lecture. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.